In July of 2002, the Knowles Research Department tested the use of electric fences to keep habituated bears out of the backpackers' food using seven grizzly bears at the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center in Montana. The fences worked consistently despite our best efforts to bait the bears inside the fences. Bears use their noses to investigate things. This bear is drooling profusely trying to get into the fence but can sense that the fence is charged without even touching it. This bird carefully checks each of the three strands, but never touches the fence. Wild bears who have never experienced a shock typically touch the wire with their nose, get shocked, and run away. Caretakers at the Grizzly Discovery Center say that this is what new bears do when they first get to their facility. These cat bears live inside the electric fence, so they know all the tricks to use when fences are misused. They put their noses within an inch of the fence to sense if it's charged, but when the food is in the center, they merely move on. We couldn't get the experienced bears to try to get into the fences until we placed piles of food outside and smeared trails of peanut butter leading under the fences. We also moved the main food cache closer and closer to the edge as the day went on. The bears eventually reach as far as a foot under a 12 inch high bottom strand. We recommend keeping all food at least 3 feet from the electric fence. The only time a bear got a food bag in 14 hours of testing was when a food bag was 6 inches outside the fence. The bear pulled the bag out very carefully and avoided touching the bag to the hot wire. A shock bear needs to see the wire to learn from its shock. The keepers at the center say new bears will avoid the wire if they can see the wire well enough to associate it with the shock. This means higher visibility fences may deter bears more than earth tone fences. The goal of these fences is not to, just to keep bears out of our food, it is to give them a negative association with human food odors. There is no charger on the tape fence on the right. This fence savvy bear used his nose to carefully fill within an inch of the fence early in the day, but later in the day when the fence charger was removed, the bear still respected the fence when it followed a bait trail to the fence. Fence smart bears may try to reach under fences, but they can only reach about a foot under a 12 inch bottom hot wire before they get shocked and run away. Some fence smart bears may dig near the fence so they can reach further. This bear followed a bait trail of peanut butter, cocoa, and granola and spent an hour digging to get about six inches further under the tape fence. Digging doesn't add much additional reach distance under the fence, but a U.S. Fish and Wildlife project showed that smaller predators will tunnel under electric fences if left for days on end. This bear was reaching under the net fence and got a small shock on his paw. We saw four bears get shocked by electric fences. Two shocks were on the paws, one was across the face, and one was on the tongue. All four bears reflexively pulled away from the fence, went away and left the fences alone for the rest of the day. The black grizzly bear running was shocked on the tongue. It took a swipe at the bear it bumped into as it left the fence. We will avoid using these fences in crowded places because you wouldn't want an upset bear accidentally running into a tent. Food protected by an electric fence needs to be stored just as far from your tent as usual. Thanks to the staff of the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center in West Yellowstone, Montana for letting us use fences with their bears. Thanks to Mark Racino and Brian DeBolt of Wyoming Game and Fish for all of the advice and for testing our portable systems on wild bears. The wild black bear footage is here via the courtesy of Mike Garnett at the Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks video unit. And thank you to the Worthington Family Foundation for the nice video production equipment. Anyone using these fences is encouraged to get Knowles' latest electric fence use guidelines available by contacting research at knowles.edu.